That was a rather aggressive kick. Oh! Oh, 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 shit, oh! <coughs> what the? What's happening? What's going on with me? <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Get out of my body. Babies. Subscribe for more weird stuff like that. You know, baby food gets a pretty bad rap, you know, since it's basically just pureed versions of regular food. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. Like if I were to blend this cheeseburger. It still tastes like a cheeseburger, just, you know, drinkable. Yeah, I wasn't gonna blend that entire thing. <laughs> it's just a textured thing. So I wonder, does baby food really taste as bad as it looks? Because I love a pot roast, but would blending it to a puree that's safe for babies make it inedible for me? Boy, oh boy, I'm about to find out. I don't have a uh, baby spoon, I probably should have bought one, but you know, here's the smallest spoon I own. Right, first up, we got meal time for baby, turkey and gravy. Odd scent, or you don't like that. All right. Ooh, bottoms up. Okay, first off, I can understand why there's no seasoning in that. None at all. It's just meat and broth. And I can understand why they do that. You probably can't give a lot of seasoning to babies, but not a great sensation, not a great taste. And the, the texture of, of the pureed mush uh, doesn't help it. Ugh, still in my mouth even after that. Uh, I'm gonna have to give that a uh, give that a five out of ten. Ugh. All right, sweet potatoes. That should be pretty pretty easy. It's just sweet potatoes. I like sweet potatoes. You know, just a blended potato. That was good. Oh, see that one's not bad. It's literally just like like I could drink these. That's how liquid this is. It's, it's like liquid sweet potato. Um, it's definitely better than the, uh, what was it, the turkey and gravy? What was it we just had? My mind already blocked it out. I will give this a, eh, give this a 7 out of 10. Not too bad. Uh, next up, we got ourselves a little dessert. Banana and blueberry. I imagine this one will be pretty good. I feel like this would just be like having a smoothie, you know? Like, it's kind of hard just to mess that up. It's a little... It's like there's a little layer of water over there. What is that? Ugh. Okay. Ooh, but that's delightful, though. It just tastes like fruit. That's it. Not bad, not bad. Dude, so, that just tells me already. All the regular fruits and stuff, these are just gonna be like, probably all 10 out of 10s. So this is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Blueberry and banana, I'd recommend it. All right, next up, let's swap over to a vegetable, corn. Mm. I don't know if it smells like corn. Maybe I haven't smelt corn in a while. Ugh. Yeah, it just tastes like corn. Um, I feel like that's going to be a trend. All of this stuff is just going to taste like the regular stuff because it's just pureed versions of that food and it's just with no seasoning. Not a fleck of seasoning because I don't think babies can handle that. But it's not its not the worst thing ever. Um, I would have to give that maybe a 6 out of 10. Nothing's beating the, the meat one so far. Alright, let's swallow down more of these meats. We got beef and beef broth next. I made sure to get different brands so nobody could be like, oh, you got the wrong brand. Gerber's actually ass. I got like four different brands. So, a little diversity. All right. Ooh, this one's a little more like a paste. Mm. It 
Yeah. All I can really say about this is it, it tastes like beef. But not a fleck of seasoning. I'm sorry, that's the last time I'll say that. It's probably going to be the issue for all of these right here. If I were to like put a little seasoning on this, this wouldn't be too bad. It'd be really weird to just like spread on toast or eat like this, but uh, it's better than the turkey one. I'll give this a six out of 10. Uh, beef and gravy. This one's smoother. The other one was kind of like watery, like a paste, but this one's this one's thicker. Like it, it's like a pudding. It like holds its shape. I don't know if I can zoom in that far to you can see that, but it holds its shape where the other one did not. So it's smoother like a paste. There you go. More than the broth one. It's not too bad though. I will give that a seven out of 10. Next up, chicken and gravy. I guess let's get through these meats. Oh, that's gelatinous pudding. Worst smell so far. It's not. It's not expired. You're a brave boy. A brave, brave boy. Oh, that's the worst one so far. No. I, I, I gotta give that a 4 out of 10. Just. Ugh. Ugh. Like overall, so far these aren't bad. Uh, like I'm not like I've seen videos of other people like eating baby food and they've pretended like it was the worst thing in the world. Maybe it was just for clicks. Maybe it's just for reactions and all that to get more, you know, to more out of their video, more excitement. But I, if I'm trying to be honest with y'all, they're not that bad. It's just blended versions of a regular food with no seasoning. If you get anything out of this, that's all this is. A little bit of salt, a little bit of bouillon cube, something. And there you go, easy, easy eats. All right, sweet potatoes, squash, and chicken. A bit bigger than that. You're, you're, you're just said you're a brave boy. I don't taste any chicken. That sweet potato, it's really just sweet potato. Hello there. Sweet potato with like a hint of squash. It totally takes over the chicken. But it's not bad, you know? There, there was zero gag reflex that acted in this. Fucking five out of 10, I suppose, five. Love you, buddy. Let get down. All right. Give myself a break a little bit. We got sweet potato and apple, more of that dessert stuff. This one's more like a liquid, like just, I don't know. Maybe the liquid is like for like little, little, because there's like level one, level two type stuff. Maybe the level one is just where they have it at the thinnest. And level two is where they got thicker with it. Ooh. Not bad. Ooh, that's right behind the blueberry and banana. It's easy a nine out of 10. I can't give it a 10 out of 10. Because I would flat out eat the whole jar of blueberry and banana. But th this I could definitely eat. If someone gave this to me, I, I wouldn't be upset. Sweet. That apple really pops out. Pear, carrot, and pea. I'm thinking about a single vegetable today, so this will help out. Huh. It's like, you really just get pear. It just tastes and smells like pear. Yeah, you got like a little something extra, but like the pear is what makes this thing super edible. It's just like fruit. You like pear? You like this? Hey, this one, not too bad. Eight out of ten. Okay. All right. Level two. I expect this to be thicker, but it's not. I guess that means nothing. I don't know. Uh, pear, apple, mango, zucchini, and yogurt. That's a lot for a baby in one thing. Ugh. Yeah, this is definitely, this is, this is liquid, man. Ooh, that's delightful. Maybe this is how I need to start eating my fruits and vegetables, just blending them and drinkable like this. Mm. That stuff's an eight. Eight out of ten. Nice and sweet. You just taste all, it's apple, pear, zucchini, yogurt. The only zucchini I see in here is from like the slight color of green 
It's it's just like a fruit drinkable thing. Eight out of ten, in case I forgot to say that. Next we got vegetable turkey dinner. Looks like the saddest Thanksgiving ever. Baby's first Thanksgiving, I guess. The color ain't great. Smells a little something too. Mm. Like a dark sweet potato. That's what it tastes like. It's like they added sweet potato and meat. That's all they did. Like turkey sweet potato. It's not bad. Can't really say anything about this, but it's, I'll give this like, I can't give this really any higher than like a six out of 10. It's kind of a nothing on the taste scale. Good old peas. Strained pureed peas. Wonder how much of this stuff I ate as a baby. Wonder if I had a favorite. Maybe I should ask my mom that. Well, that's peas all right. However, it did trigger my gag reflex. Like, there's nothing to say about this other than just like, it's pureed peas. If you've had peas, hit the blender, that is all this is. But it did trigger my gag reflex a little bit, so I'd have to give it like a five at best. Five out of 10. Getting kind of low. This is gonna be a short video, I think. I don't know. Just bear with me. I needed to cheat video this week, okay? Uh, that last one was a little expensive. Got turkey and turkey broth. A lot of these were just meat and same meat broth. Ooh, that little layer of water. Not appetizing. Little chunks in there. Mm. I feel like this would be the worst one. It's gritty. Ugh, why is it gritty? <laughs> oh, because it is. Oh, it's just like... That's not even paste that I've come to expect. It's just like little gritty pieces of meat in there that are almost a paste, but not quite. It's rejecting the idea of becoming a paste. I, I'm just forming meat in my mouth right now, and I don't like it. Something about it is just blasphemous. Ugh. This is the worst one so far. Gotta give this fucking a three out of 10. Ugh. All right, banana. I have no doubt in my mind I will like this one. Ooh boy, that's something. It can't be just banana, they had to have added something to it. Banana puree and lemon juice. That's so good. 10 out of 10, I have to. This is delicious. Little pureed banana baby food. You're throwing me some surprises. Okay, we're almost done. Ham and gravy. Is this one gonna be gritty too? Uh, no, I don't know. It's looking like pudding. Look, if textures don't kill you too much, you'll be all right here, okay? If you are specific on textures, you will hate every single one of these, except for the dessert ones, maybe. Those are just kind of like smoothies. But uh, not a fan of this one. It does just taste like ham. I gotta give it like a five out of 10. Ooh, saved the best for last. Prunes. <laughs> like, honestly, that's probably a weird thing to say is your favorite. But like, this was a childhood favorite of, me, of mine, not pureed in particular. I remember my grandma used to always bring those little like singles, prunes packs, and I'd eat, I'd eat a handful of those easy. So good, I still eat those. Maybe that's why I'm so dang chipper and, and good looking. Brought the big, I bought the big portion because I was a... Uh... My brain just shut down somehow. I don't know what's up with that. Bought the big portion because I was a uh, confident that I would like this one. Don't, don't fuck with me. No. No. Just as pruny and delicious as those little, little things my grandma used to bring me. Tastes just like it. I can't say I hate it. 10 out of 10. Like I put like, I put this as a 10, but still the best one is blueberry and banana easy but this is like right behind it if i if i probably could rank blueberry and banana 11 but whatever i it's too late this ain't bad though 10 out of 10. so do i like baby food <laughs> yeah, it's all right by the way i think i'll leave this stuff for the babies uh they need it not me i got these mouth bones for a reason
watch this video blow up with, and gets me a bunch of subscribers out of nowhere, then becomes some stupid viral trend where adults everywhere are just buying up baby food for a baby food challenge or whatever on TikTok and YouTube and all that. Uh, so much so that babies won't even be able to buy baby food anymore. Don't do that, please. I mean, subscribe. Please do that. Right there. Go get it. Hmm? Just a little, little. But don't hoard all the baby food. But yeah, I gotta go eat some solid food now. I, I really should have saved that cheeseburger for after this. Uh, see ya.